Hello and welcome to CAD Graph Tutorials. Today I'll be showing you how to use both the circular and rectangular pattern tool in Autodesk Inventor Professional 2013. Right, start off, obviously open Autodesk Inventor Professional 2013 and head to New and create standard millimeter.ipt. Alright, here in the toolbar, next to Work Features and Surface, under Pattern, you've got your rectangular and circular pattern. Difference between rectangular and circular are rectangular would array an object in a specified direction, whether it be horizontal, vertical, diagonal, and so forth. Whereas circular, as the name says, would create a circular, will array an object circularly around a point or around an axis in a way. Alright, so as demonstrations, I'll be showing you how to rectangular array a circle and to make a duplicate of those circles. And here in circular, I'll be showing you a demonstration on how to create a propeller like object, circular and array, and a bunch of triangles around a point. So if we had to create a 2D sketch and just create a circle, from this point, you can, there's two options to do a rectangular array of this, this circle. We can create a direction line, which is the line of which these circles are going to go in direction to. So the lines go on horizontal line. So these circles will go horizontal. So we click rectangular array up here. Geometry is what you want to be arrayed. So click on the circle because we want that to be arrayed. Direction, well that's the directional line we just made just then. So we click that. As you can see, another one has just popped up next to it. Here you got count, which is how many of these objects you want duplicated. So you got five, three, two, yeah, so forth. So for now we'll just do five. Here is your spacing. Spacing is what how the distance between each object is. Where you, for now we'll just put it say eight millimeters. All right, you might notice here you got another direction two. Direction two just arrays these in another direction, just so you can make more of them. We can do that as long as we make another directional line, say vertical or something, and we'll do what we're doing here, just there again. So if we had OK. Now, as you can see, we've got five new circles. You just had to finish sketch and just make them look good by just quickly extruding them. And that is how you can rectangular array a bunch of circles. That is one of the ways. There's another way, which I'll just do undo all that. And here, from this point, we'll be back to just the circle. You can finish the sketch, extrude it. I'll just do 10 millimeters average. Create a 2D sketch on the plane. And then do your directional line again. Finish sketch and just head back to rectangular. Click on the object direction is that, and then we'll both we'll do five and eight again. Five and eight, and there is a second way on how to rectangular array. All right, just going to close all this, do a circular one. In new standard millimeter dot ipt, and we are now going to make a propeller like object. So propellers have like a triangular, well, I don't know what they call propeller, I guess. Propeller and there you go. So that's a wing to a propeller, all right? So what we could do from here, finish sketch, extrude there. That obviously looks too long to be a propeller. Let's do one millimeter. It looks good. With this now, you can head to circular. The feature is what you want to be arrayed. So we want that to be arrayed. Rotation axis is the point you want it to array around. Um, in a propeller, this would be the axis. So just click that. As you can see, a bunch of them has appeared. Looks pretty cool. What you can do now, again, what we got here, we've got a count and we've got what, how much angles you want them on. So we can only go up to 180 degrees if you want. Only half of it would be arrayed. But propellers, obviously, 360 degrees. And placement here is. How many of them you want? So you can do eight, nine, ten, twenty if you can. Let's see how here just come up with an error message. Twenty, it won't work because they'll be overlapping each other, and obviously that won't be able to work. See, looks crazy. That's 120. Sorry, my bad. As well, it's 20 is alright. So we'll just press with 15 or 14, and there you go. There's your circular array propellerish like windmill type of. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, please subscribe and give me the thumbs up. I really do enjoy that. Have a lovely day.